Within today's video, we will be taking a look at how you can motivate people within your own workplace, where we will guide you through the necessary steps you need to take while trying to create or establish motivation with certain individuals within your own business. And as we all know, we are all motivated by different things in our life and sometimes for business leaders, they will find it difficult to motivate some members of certain teams and try and get the most out of them. And this can really come down to a lot of different things, such as the likes of being afraid to make mistakes within a controlled environment, or maybe there are limited opportunities for growth within the workplace. Other factors are the likes of poor work-life balance, or maybe they work within a poor organisational culture. These are all different factors that can impact us as individuals and how we work within certain businesses. And it really starts with trying to create a culture of achievement, enjoyment and even personal growth. And this will allow us to open new opportunities for motivation within the workplace. Where motivation itself really starts with understanding your people for who they are as individuals and clearly understand what motivates them as people. And then you can begin to implement the right steps to getting the most out of them in terms of productivity and performance. And people are going to be really motivated through both intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation. Where intrinsic motivation are people who are motivated by a level of satisfaction within the workplace and how they feel. Where extrinsic motivated people are those individuals who will be motivated by rewards and incentives such as the likes of bonuses. So that's why it is important to really understand who works for you and what motivates them. And it is said within theory that people are motivated based on three different pillars. The first one looks at autonomy, where these types of individuals like to direct their own behaviour. And some companies have established working environments based solely off results. And you will see this within the likes of sales companies, where employees could be paid based off commission alone. And in these types of environment, there are no timetables or no obligation to present at the workplace at any specific time, where these employees will simply need to get their job done in order to be paid. And this gives employees the freedom to work within their own framework, which for some individuals is effective in acting positively towards their job and how they perform. The second pillar is mastery, and this is where we will want to get better at the things we care about. And essentially, when we do what we love or what we are good at, you become fully committed to what you're doing through using your skills to the best of your ability. And in doing so, this allows for some people to really enjoy what they do, where they will strive on perfecting their tasks, which in return motivates them to push to a higher level of productivity in the hope that they can master their skill. The third pillar is working towards a sense of purpose, where within this pillar, Purpose provides energy for productivity within the workplace. Where if people have a sense of purpose for greater good within what they do every day and they have a clear vision on what they're trying to achieve, this will motivate them to work harder, where they will constantly feel a sense of belonging and achievement. So now we have an understanding of what motivation is and how you can break down the different types of motivation and how this may apply to people within your own workplace. Let's take a look at some of the steps you can take to actually create motivation within your workplace today. So we at Profile Tree have come up with 8 different steps that you should consider if you're trying to create some motivation within your business. And the first one looks to establish a clear vision and clear goals as well, where you should be able to clearly communicate the organisation's vision and key goals and objectives to your employees. So it's important that you're not afraid to over communicate well, you may think at times that you are repeating yourself over and over again, but when employees understand how their work contributes to the bigger picture, they are more likely to feel motivated and engaged. Another factor is creating a positive working culture, where you will want to cultivate a positive work environment that encourages collaboration, open communication, and overall enjoyment within the workplace. So you will want to encourage all people within your organisation to work in teams and share their ideas and make a conscious effort to celebrate the achievements of those individuals who are performing in line with the company aims and values, where a positive work culture enhances motivation and creates a sense of belonging. So briefly mentioned there, you will want to empower employees, 
where people are motivated from having a sense of control over their job, where the majority of people don't like being told exactly what to do, especially when they have been in a job for some time. So trust your employees and provide them with autonomy and decision making authority whenever possible. Where allowing individuals to take ownership of their work fosters a sense of responsibility and motivation where you should create opportunities to encourage innovation, creativity and independent thinking. You should also create opportunities for employees to learn and grow. Where many people who can see opportunities for progression and development will be motivated towards meeting company targets, so offering career development paths and growth opportunities within the organisation can also be motivating. In addition to this, companies who invest in training and development of their own staff through the likes of workshops, mentoring and coaching sessions, where employees can really see that this business is striving towards enhancing their skill set and knowledge, actually receive a higher percentage of performance and productivity of these employees within the workplace. In addition to this, acknowledging and appreciating employees' efforts and achievements is going to be key as well. Where people really strive of motivation when they are recognised for the work they have put in, and this doesn't have to be anything from the likes of bonuses or promotions, but something as simple as saying well done can really motivate someone and go a long way. So think about your own abilities as a company and what you can offer, such as the likes of flexible working hours, extra vacation days, or opportunities to work on interesting projects as well. These are all different ways to improve the satisfaction and motivation within your workplace. And it's also important to note, sometimes motivation can come from outside of the workplace, where some businesses have recognised this and look for ways to promote a healthy work-life balance by introducing systems to get people active such as the likes of step count challenges or the likes of the cycle to work scheme as well. We're encouraging work and life balance by implementing policies that support flexible work arrangements, paid time off and wellness initiatives allows people to feel valued, meaning they will be more likely to be motivated and satisfied at work. However, within the workplace, you will also want to encourage collaboration and teamwork. We're really trying to foster a collaborative work environment where employees can work together and support each other in different ways helps create a sense of positivity, where the feeling of helping others is a very motivational way to making people happy in the workplace. So you, as a business leader, should create a working environment that encourages cross-functional teamwork, where knowledge sharing is promoted. So I would encourage you, now that you know collaboration can enhance motivation, start to think of the different ways you can create opportunities for the likes of team building activities across your company as a whole. And the final point is that leaders play a crucial role in motivating employees, where they will want to set positive examples of displaying enthusiasm, passion and dedication to their own work, where you as a business leader will want to be approachable and supportive by maintaining open lines of communication with your employees, as well as this provide guidance and mentorship for your employees and feedback to these individuals on their performance. Or on the other hand, Make an effort to address any concerns that they may have. With you actively seeking their input and involving them in the decision making process, demonstrates to your employees that they feel valued and the work and the commitment that they share to your business isn't going unnoticed. We at Profiltry are creating a range of different videos of business tips which you could follow, so I would encourage you to check out our YouTube channel afterwards and have a look to see which of these videos is best suited towards your needs. We are also offering support and guidance in around implementing a digital transformation within your business, where we will help you select and implement new technology to allow you to become more operationally efficient and reach your customers in new ways. If you do need any support in this area, you can find both my email and the business email on screen now, and I will look forward to hearing from you. That is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching and have a brilliant day.